Hey there, everyone. Ian here at Mattershed Media, and the internet has helped me connect with another cool car person, Michael, coming to us from New York. He has a phenomenal 1983 Hurst Olds here that we're looking at right now. So these are the 15th anniversary ones with the black on the top and the gray on the bottom with the special 15th anniversary. And this one has a saddle interior, color, lightning rods, cassette player, air-conditioned car. So these cars, they made 3,001 um, at the Lansing plant and then went to Creative Creations and had the Hearst Olds package put on. So this one is an American one because it comes to us from the States, but this is a special Hearst Olds 307, different cam, different intake manifold, uh, same air cleaner as a 442, uh, air conditioning, power steering. But this, this one is just so, so nice. So anyway, um, yeah, this, uh, again, specific 8384, it's got a feedback four barrel carburetor, uh, cruise control, it's just wicked. So it's got the Cutlass Sport 2 rims, 15 by sevens, I believe. Again, so I had an 84 and it's gray on top, black on the bottom, and obviously it doesn't say 15th anniversary, but it says first old. But this one is a T-top car with, I believe, from what I can see, all the options. It's got the rally cluster, power locks, power windows, the spoiler, the hood, uh, the front air dam, the taillights, the black around the taillights, that's specific to Hearst Olds. The front headlight bezels as we walk around the car, specific to Hearst Olds, because they're blacked out. The grill is 83 only, 1983 only. Uh, this would have, from factory, a catalytic converter y pipe catalytic converter and then busts out the dual exhaust so um there's some running footage here they have again a unique sound to them uh, air pump that pumps in it's a three-way catalytic converter so like our first generation emissions 180 horsepower um yeah these this one is so nice it reminds me so much of mine i sold mine just a few years ago but this thing is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I, I actually still have all my sales slips. Um, I bought, had bought all those when I had my car. I had mine for 21 years, but Michael's got me way beat to 34, but just, yeah, enjoy this awesome, awesome machine. So the lightning rods, how do they work? So it's a cable driven shifter basically that goes down to a 200 for our transmission. So you start in park and then you have reverse, neutral, overdrive and drive. And you would take your first shifter, the one far closest to the driver's side, pull it all the way back. And then you can take the middle shifter and pull it back, which is second and take the outside shifter and pull it back. And that's first. So that's manual one. And from there you start from the passenger side, work your way forward and you'll be back in overdrive. So it looks like a Lanco shifter. It's supposed to mimic that, but it's based just a cable driven unit but anyway i want to take this quick second thank you michael for sending me the footage thank you everybody out there for watching sit back and enjoy the rumble of this hurstle take care bye for now